Hi everyone, this is a video all about um, product life cycle. This is not to be confused with a uh, life cycle assessment, which can be a bit confusing. So this is all to do with the kind of marketing um, and the sales of a product. That's what product life cycle is about. A life cycle assessment is to do with, and this is more science based, though it does come up in tech and it's quite a useful thing to talk about, but this is to do with like your carbon um, footprint and the uh, impact of, you know, on the environment in terms of the manufacture of your product. So forget this, it is nothing to do with your carbon footprint, it's nothing to do with sustainability. This product life cycle is much more business focused and it's to do with how products are introduced um, and it's got some different stages to it, which I'm going to take you through now. So this is a product life cycle. So if you were to design a new product, say I designed a new phone going old school with the screen back again. There we go. And believe it or not, it's got a headphone jack. There we go. So here's my new product. Um, it would go through one, two, four different stages of um, its kind of life cycle. So you have from the introduction to the growth of the sales of the product to its maturity to when it kind of starts to kind of reach its peak of sales. And then it's it's kind of like inevitable decline because products rarely stay on the market forever. You, th there are some exceptions, obviously, um, but normally products are designed, they are marketed, people get excited about them, um, they they sell, they sell, they sell, then market saturation happens where most people have got one and then um, either a new version comes out, an update or they go to a competitor's product. So companies really need to consider the re release of their products carefully um, and just again to go through the definition um, a product life cycle is the length of time from a product first being introduced, so here, uh, until it is completely removed from the market. OK, um, and here's the, the four stages that we just spoke about. So we're going to go through each of these in just a little bit more detail. So the introduction of the product at this stage, the sales tend to be quite slow as the demand is created. So this is where adverti advertising is happening. You are trying to promote your product um, and this stage can take quite a bit of time um, because if the product is quite new and innovative, you need to get people to realise um, how how it would help them, um, how it would fit into their lives. So quite often um, products fail at this stage. This is often where things go really wrong and your product never quite takes off. That's why some co um, some companies are quite worried about producing a completely new product. What they tend to do is take an existing product um, and make an improvement to it. That can be a little bit more of a safe um, approach to this kind of part of the product life cycle. So um, basically at this stage, the, the, the product is being introduced. Sales might be relatively slow because you need the customers to see how it's going to meet their needs um, and also to see if there's any competition in the marketplace. Are you competing with anyone else? Um, what sets you apart? All those different types of things. So the first stage is introduction, where it's first introduced, you're advertising, promoting and trying to drive up awareness of your product. The second stage is the growth stage. Um, this should see a big growing demand for your product. Um, so a big increase in production because your sales are going to be going up um, and the product's becoming much more widely available. So um, this is where really this is this is the, the kind of best bit, really. The growth and the maturity is where you want to kind of keep your product as long as possible because that's going to increase your sales and also mean that your product is reaching a wide range, uh, a wide range of people. At this point, though, 
competitors may enter the market. So you might get some competition around here with com uh, competitors either copying your idea um, or copying it, but making some improvements to it. So they, they, they can see that this product is, is being successful. So they are going to want to come in and um, get a bit of, uh, you know, the action, if you like. And that might be where competitors come in in this stage. Um, this is really important that, that pricing is, is considered carefully and availability is considered carefully because you want to continue driving these sales upwards. If there is a lack of availability of a product, then obviously that is going to be quite a slow growth or it might start to hit maturity before you kind of want it to. Also, like I said, there's going to be increasing competition in the market. So that's growth. This is quite a... Um, a rapid stage, increase in production, increase in sales, but you might start getting some competitors entering the fray. Maturity, this is the third stage. Um, this is the beginnings of something called market saturation, um, this stage here, where you can see it starts to go down because this might be where most people have bought the product. The people that are going to buy it have bought it. It's going to be established. Um, and this is where if you want to maintain this for as long as possible, you want to make sure that your branding, your price and how your product is different from other products on the market is considered carefully because that is going to help you maintain your market share. So you want to try and keep it in this mature stage as long as possible. Um, but then after a while, your product is going to have been bought by most people and to make sure that it still is selling you need to make sure that it's got a strong brand that the price is reasonable you might want to change the price maybe lower the price um, and um, that's the the kind of maturity stage of the product life cycle and then we get to the inevitable decline of the product where um, basically your company so for example if i was make if it was my beautiful smartphone that I designed at the beginning with my headphone jack, this is where I might start m moving on to version two. I might be thinking about, right, how can I version two or a completely different product? OK, so um, there might not be any profit left to be gained at this stage because the decline is going to be happening. It might be that the product is removed from the market completely. So product could be removed. Um, some companies will survive the, this decline um, and they may continue to offer the product, but it's likely that the production of it is going to be much smaller and the profit margins might be less. So it's not always in the best interest of the company to keep making this product. That's why companies move on so quickly to things like version two, improved versions. That's why mobile phone uh, makers bring out lots of new versions all the time. Um, also, at this point, consumers may turn away from your product um, for a new alternative. It could be a different company. It could be your own new product. Um, but the way that you can counteract this, and that's what this blue bit is here, is if, for example, um, I had my little mobile phone, I could say that it's now available in different colors. Um, I might say that you can get um, some kind of clever update or a new software or a new offer, which is going to basically extend the life of the product. So this can revive interest in an older product. Um, and this can be a way that a, a company can extend the life of the product. But still, there is going to be this inevitable decline where they have to make a decision. Are they going to extend the life of the product? Are they going to move on to a different version or are they going to move on to a completely different product? So that is product life cycle. Do not get it confused, confused with a life cycle analysis, which is to do with sustainability and carbon emissions. This is to do with marketing. It's business. It's thinking about when you are going to market and how you are going to maintain and drive the sales of your product before you move on to the development of maybe your next um, uh, product in the marketplace. Right. I hope that was useful. See you on the next video.